Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to my Spaghetti Detective setup tutorial. Uh, this will be quite an unscripted video similar to the other setup tutorials I made in the past. And yeah, I'll just set up the Spaghetti Detective, um, talk a little bit about it, and you can just follow along. It should be quite simple. Oh um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, maybe as a quick introduction, the Spaghetti Detective has been around for quite some time. And what they did in the past was basically monitor your print for you. So you could install the Spaghetti Detective on your Octoprint and when you print it, the Spaghetti Detective would look at the camera feed and use AI and machine learning to basically try to detect whether the print failed. For example, if the part came loose or if there's just like, yeah, extrusion issues, whatever. And that's not quite what we're looking at today. So today everything or all, it's all about uh, remote access. Um, they also launched a second feature, not quite recently, but uh, yeah, it's quite new still, uh, which is their tunnel. And what that allows you is basically to be at work or uh, traveling or yeah, commuting, whatever, and using the Spaghetti Detective connection to open your Octoprint web interface. And yeah, that's pretty cool because you can remotely control your prints. You have very fine control. And for example, if you use a plugin, for example, exclude region or something, you could then use that through the tunnel and just, yeah, if something fails, you have more control. And today uh, I also will show you how to connect the Spaghetti Detective tunnel to OctoApp. So when you're on Go, you can either use the web interface or you can just use OctoApp. And I think that's, Pretty much, yeah, that's it. Um, quick word about pricing. Um, so basically the Spaghetti Detective offers a free tier, um, which yeah, you can just sign up for. You don't have to enter any credit card information or anything, so it's super cool. And the free tier will give you 50 megabytes of data volume at, uh, each month. And you can use it for the tunnel. Um, that's not a lot, but it should give you quite a decent range, uh, especially with Octoprint 1.8. There will be some improvements when it comes to data consumption basically of uh, the app and the web interface. So it should be okay. Like that's a super cool free offer. And if you want to have unlimited uh, streaming, they have their um, yeah, subscription bundles basically, which just gives you unlimited data volume. I think they start around four euros, not quite sure. So just check out the webpage for the current pricing. Um, but I think it's quite a good deal. Cool, then let's just jump straight in. Um, yeah, first step, let's just install a plugin. So we just head to our Octoprint, uh, go to the settings, plugin manager, get more. And yeah, it's super convenient. <laughs> it's quite sneaky. So whenever you open the plugin manager, it's always the first. So you can either search for Spaghetti Detective, but yeah, it's access anywhere. So it's always the first. Uh, so you can just hit install and depending on your uh, Octoprint server that can take a bit. So we just head straight over to the web page and use the time uh, to set up an uh, account in the meantime. Hit sign up and let's use a random email address and let me quickly grab a password. Here we go, that's our Spaghetti Detective account. Um, that's basically all you need to do here. Uh, let's head back to Octoprint. And yeah, so basically installation is done. We can now restart. Here we go. So uh, restart is complete and everything went well. So we are greeted with the Spaghetti Detective setup. Um, let's just select setup and let's go for the web setup. And when you see the six digit verification code input, you can basically just hit back to the web page, click link Octoprint. We already installed. And okay, cool. So basically the Raspberry is found instantly. Um, that didn't happen the last time for me, but you can always hit manual setup. And let's actually do it that way because it always works. And then we'll tell you to click the web setup which you already did and you will get the six digit verification code. Uh, just copy that. Oh, just copy that and I'll see if it copied. Yeah, it did. Paste it here and that's it. It's linked. So we can hit close and yes, let's turn it on. Uh, let's quickly re reload the Octoprint web page so we're sure everything is nice and tidy. And if we now hit uh, head to the 
settings, access anywhere. And what you can do, you can click troubleshooting and just click test to double check everything is okay. So that seems okay and everything should be ready. Um, on the web page, you should be able, or you have successfully linked screen, so we can just name that, I don't know, Octopi, and that's it. We are now ready. Um, you see already the camera loads up, so you can enjoy my beautiful ceiling here. Um, let's head over to Android. Uh, you have my little test device here on the side, and if you're running OctoApp 1.12, which you should by now, um, you can basically just open the Octoprint menu, and then you will have Configure Remote Access on the bottom. Um, you will have a couple of options here. One of them is the Spaghetti Detective. And all you need to do is hit Connect. It will bring you to the Spaghetti Detective webpage where you can sign in. Maybe you're already signed in. Um, and then you just fill in your account details. Let's remember me, sign in. And that's basically already it. Um, again, like I'm on the free trial, so you have a 30 day trial, I just created an account. Um, so you have this warning with the 50 megabyte cap, what I said in the beginning, mm, but as long as you're in a the trial, there is no cap. Let's click authorize and that's it. You're now connected. Um, you can disconnect it at any time. Let's actually quickly go back to the overview. Um, and let's do the following. I just disable my Wi-Fi for a second. And yeah, OctoApp now obviously loses the connection because it's no longer on the local network. And we should see in a second. Yeah, here we go. So now we are connected by the Spaghetti Detective. Um, as long as the connection is active, you will have this purple status bar on the top. And when you go back to the Wi-Fi, I'll show you in a second, then basically connection is just restored uh, to the local connection. Um, the webcam is not always working. So only when you're printing, it's working. So let me just quickly to show you, um, start some random print. And yeah, OctoApp now went to the print screen. Now you see that basically you have the camera feed here. Oh, yeah. So still beta, <laughs> some small things to, to, to fix. But yeah, basically what you see in the background, ignore the stream stalled. Um, you will have one frame every 10 seconds. Um, that's a little bit of a limitation. So you won't have a complete live webcam feed, but there will be one frame every 10 seconds. Let me quickly restart the app so you can see that. Okay, there's a bug, nice. Will be fixed when you have it. But yeah, there will be one frame every 10 seconds. Um, that's not perfect, but it's good enough just to see what's going on. And you can, if you see any defects, uh, you can fix them. Let's enable the Wi-Fi again. And again, we'll take a second, but OctoApp will now go back to the local connection. Let's give it a second for the connection. And here we go. You saw now the purple bar is gone. Um, the webcam <laughs> is working again. Uh, very bad demo. Um, and that's basically all there is. So it's super simple to set up. Uh, if you already have the Spaghetti Detective set up on your Octoprint and you already have an account, just do that part um, and it's straightforward. I think, checking my little to-do list, um, I said everything there was to say. And yeah, that's it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or contact me directly. And enjoy the app and happy printing.